I'm gonna start this video by quoting Gabrielle. His <laughs> dreams do come true. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I was thinking then, what kind of song were <laughs> yeah, you she about to say? say? Dreams can come true. Look at baby, and I'm gonna hear. I know you could go for it. Yeah, I I'm with Katie. I love that song. Hi, guys. I'm with Katie Jane Hughes. If you've watched any of my videos, oh. it's a drinking game. It's so funny. People tag me. They're like, Anna's talking about you. Again. Anna's talking about me. Yes, and it's so cute. She's I'm so excited to be doing this. Honestly, so I excited am. to get my hands on them brows. Well, I'm not going to touch them because they're perfect, but we might do a little thing. A little thing. A little thing. A little thing. I am like over the moon. This is literally my dream. I put it on Instagram. I was like, my dream is going to come true tomorrow. And people were like, you're getting your makeup done by Kate Jane Hughes. Everyone knew it. She's in the UK. She's based in New York. She's an incredible makeup artist who has worked with beautiful celebrities and like works with incredible brands and is basically just even Mark today was like you're gonna go see that lady that you follow oh, that you like watch every morning on that Instagram. that's always wittering on in the background yeah I was house. like yes yes Aww. I am so we're just gonna play there's no yeah. real, like rhyme or reason there's no real this, rhyme right? or reason we've got product in front of us I always love to go through people's makeup bags that bought a little bag yeah especially unless it's a celebrity client and they're going to a special event and we need to be quite formulaic with what we do when it's just a play date, I like it to be very much a play date and it's to just like pick stuff from your makeup bag and things that you like to wear and things that are, that's in my kit. Like for example, I'd always be like, give us your mascara, let's get your mascara out. That's okay. your favorite thing. I've already got your mascara out. So it's really great. I'm just it's not, it's, it's not, it's not. And like we picked out this palette from Dose of Colors, yes. which is like nice peachy, warm, cough, like kind of warm, sexy, summery tones. But first step I'm gonna do is just make sure you've got no dead skin on your face, okay. which I'm sure you don't, because I think Oh my god, a this is so outside. Katie Jane Hughes, guys. She's using these, a pill pad on me. So I always put these on the T-zone first, and then, yeah, these are gonna be really, really good for you. Because you're already pretty balanced, like your skin isn't dry, but it's just gonna get rid of any little bit of texture oh from any, you know, Guys, product. I feel like I'm in an Instagram you self story. Do you self-tan? I have been self-tanning. It's It was quite extreme. I was just no. so sad. You know when you're sad and pale? Do you ever have that? Yeah. I just needed a layer. I like to be tan with the sun and then pale otherwise, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, I'm just scared that it's not gonna look right on me. I did like a subtle layer. I'm looking in the camera right now and I'm like, also, guys, can we just ignore the hair? It's raining. No, your hair looks great. It's it looks raining. so cute and like... Oh my god, wow. The best thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Normally that goes just like... <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Let's take this. Let's take this. I always do that with a spoolie. I always like it's kind of... Yeah, I like comb my hair behind my brow. Because hair is hair. Yeah. Like if it's on your eyebrows, it's on your face. So my brow lady... Wow. Um, I saw her a couple of days ago and I was like, we need a bit of a tidy up because I'm going to go see Katie Jane Hughes and she's going to do my makeup. And my brow lady was like, you're going to see Katie Jane Hughes. Aww. She was freaking oh out. She was so, so, so excited. I'm going to do your brows first because your brows are already such a statement part of your face that I don't want to get too far with all the other stuff and then okay. overdo it. It's like whenever yeah. I'm doing makeup on somebody or I'm doing makeup on myself and I want a feature to be the feature. Like right now we're just playing along. We're just playing play date styly. So... Because I don't want anything to overpower anything else, I'm gonna kind of just like do bits as I get there and tweak it up and down and stuff. However, if I know I wanted to wear a lip, I would do the lip first. Okay. If I know I wanted to do the eye, I would do the eye first and then come back to skin. However, there's a product launch from Glossier that we're gonna talk about really fast because you have the perfect brows. You actually have the perfect, everybody has the perfect brows for this. I wear this and I have no brows. You can wear this and you have full brows. So we're like kind of a good both opposite ends of the spectrum. You were like two ends of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah. So basically it's a brow liner, which is something I've been using for a long, long time. And I'm, um, I've am i worked on this with them in the sense of like helping them get the colors right from a makeup artist perspective, the formula and all How many shades stuff. there? Three, blonde, Three. brown, and black. I'm gonna use brown on you. Yeah. But I, I kind of want to do this in a way where you're gonna get these to take away today. So I kind of want to do it one, I want to do one brow and then okay. I want you to do the other one because I want yes. to be able to point you in the right direction just in case. Okay. Because it's a totally new category. And I also like, I'm always stressing to my followers when I use this kind of category on myself that it's a new category. If you like make a mistake, don't worry about it. Just pick yeah. it up and try again tomorrow. Look at your brows. You're actually a teeny bit more sparse in there. So like, for mm. example, I, I don't really need to do anything underneath. I'm just going to take the brown. And there's a reason, very specific reason why I'm doing this before any skin prep or any skincare. And it's because I like to... Make sure that there's no skincare in the eyebrows. That's gonna. This is literally gonna be your best friend because it's so good on you. Oh my god. I like need help. That's the thing. They're, they're growing back because I'm having like a brow regrowth journey. There's there's sort You're of so there's sparse. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the trick to anything like this and brow liners is to go in the areas where it's sparse and follow the direction of the hair. I actually want you to okay. hold the mirror. Yeah. Because I want you to see what I'm doing. So. You go in there with those ones. And do you see that I just rounded that shape out a little bit at the top? Yeah, and because I think 
I would think you always need to go up with brows. Well, you do. In the it, yeah, ones. in the ones that are going yeah. up, but these yeah. ones at the top are going yeah. down, so yeah. you need to go down. Well, it's if you want it to look as most natural as possible for them. For these guys, we're going to go up and into them like that. If you do want to add more fluff, if you guys follow Katie on Instagram, you will know that this is like oh, Glossy knew what they were doing. Like she is the queen of brow pens. Try that, Sam. Okay. Before you start, let's yeah. brush your eyebrow and let's see where your bits are. You could always like if people wanted to go like crazy, you brush them down and then really go into it, but that will uh, allow you to do a heavier application. I feel like on this side, we need like there. A little bit in the front. Yeah. And then a little bit in the arch underneath. This is so good, because I've been trying to do this with pencil, yeah. and pencil oh, no, too, no, no. is too heavy. For pencil, I have to too snap off the top so that I get a sharp, intense, like. Oh. oh my God, and your pressure is perfect. Exactly, you're doing it exactly right. Using the tip, <laughs> using the tip, and only the tip, and that's the bit that you're supposed to use. You're supposed to store it upside down every night before you go to bed. You're supposed to like use it really lightly. With no, if you put skin prep on underneath this, it will transfer more because it will have oil to grip to. But you want it to have dryness to grip to. That's amazing. There's so much. There's just so much more. Do even. a tiny bit in this round there, like thicken it. Oh out. yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And I like to use black and brown as a mix on myself because it gives me more contrast and more texture. So this one is brown. That's brown. Okay. But here, do a stroke of black just so you can like see what it's gonna do. I love that it matches with boy brown. I know. It's, it's like, like a little best mate. Yeah. yeah, they all their friends. So if you accidentally do a touch much, you just spool me through it. Spool through. Yeah. I mean, you didn't, I'm just saying. This is brilliant because for me, yeah, so I've got patches where I'm having like my little regrowth thing. Oh God, and so I'm just lucky. finding, oh my God, this is a dream. So. <laughs> I'm finding the pencil is just too, too much yeah. movement. This is like so, it's so like one of the more there. It is, yeah. And it also the yeah. idea, oh, that's nice, yeah. There. And you have to try and go between all of the hairs because if the hairs are too, your hairs are coarse. So your ha your brows are actually hard to put this kind of product <laughs> yeah. in because the, if the eyebrows are dense, then it can it can mess with the way the product places down. But the pressure that you're doing is perfect. You oh. want really light little flicks. Okay, if you're regrowing your brows, you need these. If you have no brows, yeah. you need these. And the trick is, <laughs> if you're in the middle, you need these. Well, with any brow product, you always want to start beyond the front. Never start at the front because you'll have too heavy of a front. You always want to start yeah. a little bit past the front, and then and then leave your fronts nice and like fluffy. Yeah, but I'm going to just show you. A Quick trick. This is something that I love to do that I do on set more than anything else. This is boy brow and blonde. Putting boy brow and blonde almost makes your brows look highlighted, which is almost just makes them look sun kissed. Oh, it's quite nice because my brows yeah. are so dark and these haven't got tint on or anything. They're just naturally this dark. But like, it's just softening the difference. Them. Yeah, it just gives a softer effect to the brow. This one's with, this one's without. And then I always just pick up. And for anybody that like do, does deposit brow product onto the back of their hand. I will put that right back in the tube in a second. It's oh, and you just scrape back. Yeah. Don't waste oh. it. She's a sustainable queen too. Back home. In there. And then just get it and then go. Okay, so your brows are done. Obviously, I did your brows first. But mm -hmm. we aren't actually going to do any skin prep at all today. Okay. Because one reason, it's warm in here. Second reason is it's muggy outside. Third reason is this is a really good technique to do either if you're getting married or if you have a long day ahead and you know you want your makeup to last until the night time. Yeah, we do. So this is kind of one of my favorite things to do um, and do no skin prep at all, but I'm gonna start with bronzer. That's gonna be the first step of product. So I'm gonna basically start carving out the face using bronzer and only bronzer. This is also gonna go on really, really well because there's no slip on the skin to interfere with it. But I've put your peel pad, I did the peel pad step Mm. from the Elmer's Peel Pad, which basically allowed for your skin to be completely smooth. I'm gonna do a little bit on your ear so that we get like a nice transition. Do you have a favorite bronzer? I love this, this is one of my favorites. This is the Chanel, it's the late hand of Chanel. Yeah. Um, I'm quite obsessed with this at the moment. Yeah, this one's really good. I've, I've literally had this in and out of my makeup bag since I was probably 17. Cream or powder bronzer? Um, if you wanna look really radiant, I would always do creams, um, and if you, but then you could do both. You could do cream mm. first and powder after. I think that's why I love your page so much. You're a big fan of like creamy, radiance, glowy, easy. Right. Like quick and easy, but it always looks different. With the same product, smaller brush, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna take this, I'm gonna start carving out an eye shape with it. You're all about like cut, like carving out. You like a bit of yeah. subtle sculpting. Yeah, exactly. I like mm. a bit of sculpting, but that still looks like the face that it belongs to instead mm -hmm. of somebody else's. I think that if you do want to create a face that doesn't look like yours, that's fine too. It's just personal preference. It's, I just like to enhance versus to completely trans to completely change. Mm -hmm. I like to transform in a way that still looks like a person. Though. Yeah, definitely. So this is all just like you know, I'm and I'm also like a big believer in priming with products that you're going to use instead of priming with primers. Like every single thing that you put on should be should be applied with 
very delicate pressure so that you're essentially just building thin layers of the exact same thing throughout the process. This is what I can confirm, it's like a light tickle. Yeah, it shouldn't <laughs> feel like anything really. We would touch underneath. Do you well, eyeshadow underneath your lower lash line? I much? sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I am normally like inspired by like I watch you and like you go under and I'm like, ooh, like what you used this morning, the um mm -hmm. Tom Ford, Ford cream eyeshadow so in Abyssinian and I was just like Oh, I need that, damn it. Like, it looks so good. It's and you so went with amazing. it under, and I was like, I l like you were saying, that moody eye. Mm -hmm. Like, moody it's like eye. like beautifully tired, like you look yeah. a bit sleepy, but like really polished at the same time. Plus, if you're watching this, please can you bring out a, like a cream eyeshadow that hasn't got glitter in it? It's called Moody Eye. Ooh. That's my dream. I think when I met um, Emily, I actually proposed it to her. I was like, I love please it. can you make a product called Moody Eye? Ooh. Just like a like, you know? resting bitch eyes. Yes. So I'm going to use stretch concealer. It's my favorite thing to prep skin with in the sense of like this, like, you know, because now we have to disclose every single thing. Yeah. I feel like expect everything's gifted until <laughs> otherwise because that's the benefit of being in the industry. You're a makeup artist. Make, yeah. Being a makeup artist, things come and, you know, so if I had to purchase my Glossier things, this is something that I would purchase every day for the rest of my career yeah. being a makeup artist because I palette these. It's like a little candy box. Um, I'm going to use a color that matches your neck and chest here. So I'm using G11, it's a bit brighter than mm. G10, and I'm putting it in the T-zone, in the chin, through the nose, and then I'm gonna intensify it with a bit more of something richer in a second. This is one thing that I got from you, using stretch all over with a fluffy brush. Yeah. Like as a tinted moisturizer. It's the best thing. It's literally game changing. Yeah, my cheek's quite weird. Yeah, but it's so pretty. So I never wear blush. Oh, so <laughs> but like you, you should wear blush. People are like you should wear blush more, and I'm like, you're the cutest little forehead in the world. It's so little, guys. <laughs> Got two heads. This is amazing. Your yeah, hair is so small. Especially it. now my brows are so much bigger. I'm like, <laughs> it's just shrunk from my forehead. I'm like, it. I've got like a centimeter it's between perfect. here now. You're perfect. So I like to put stretch concealer or any concealer for that matter, just along the jawline, so that it gives that contoury, bronzy situation a bit more of a contrast. So I'll put that on the along the cheek underneath and then I'm always blending with what's in my brush I'm always taking it over the over the bronzer or over the blush over the ears if they're visible just so you don't get any um pink mm. pink bit of ear popping out so this is a little highlight trick because you can highlight with stuff that, even if it's not shimmery I feel like people always think oh highlight is glittery it's not necessarily the case highlighter is essentially just pulling pulling light mm. forward we were talking about like the, the Katie Jane Hughes essential kit and it's like Glossier Stretch, yeah. Walida Skin yeah, food. food. But I would never use those two things together. Too no. Much, too much moisture. Too much moisture. You are like the, the glow essentials. Aww. It's all about the glow essentials. But it's all about, also, I kind of like feel like I should talk about skin prep for a second because even we didn't do it. I think like if I had have done the skin prep step on you, mm. I would have put your moisturizer all here first and avoided this zone completely mm -hmm. because that's why I see that you've got more pores. You don't, you don't have big pores. You just, no, that's why everybody's pores, pores are. Pores, yeah. So like I'll put my highlight at my dewy products or any moisturizers for that matter everywhere else first mm. and you'll get so much longer wear out of your makeup and mm. you'll get just a, just a much nicer finish. Yeah, you always do high points and then you sort of massage into high points and then like bring it. She's watching. <laughs> She's listening. Star people. Okay, Jenkins Instagram. I love it. My favorite way of color correcting is actually not to color correct with color correctors. It's actually just to use a concealer that's a bit too dark for one's skin tone. So for Ooh. example, this color. It's not really too dark for you, but it's quite peachy. There's a peachiness to it for sure. You also don't have dark circles. So this isn't going to be an easy, easy thing to demonstrate. But this is the color Honey Light 3 from NARS. So Creamy concealer. Take that, yeah. Love. A fluffy brush. I love fluffy brushes more than anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's also in the kit. A fluffy brush. Like, that's in your kit. So look at that, right? That looks kind of darker than most yeah. people would think to go to. But once you blend it in, it actually balances the cheek with the under eye area perfectly. And then really you can. Nice blend a brighter concealer at the top if you wanted to, just to like hide my skin already. I just like looked in oh, I mean, your skin's amazing. Skin and brows. You also have amazing skin. So this is not, uh, now NARS Capricorn Leche, so now I'm brightening with another color. Ooh, I so like it. Like, I like a yellowy kind yeah. of under the eye. Yeah, but you, pe you counteract with peach first and you can go yellow over the top, mm. over the fat, over the, that's the fat. I don't think I've ever looked so bright under the eyes, guys. This is amazing. You feel but not, bright? No, not in You're like a, good. not in like a, 2000 yeah, yeah. and like, two, yeah, like Christina 14 Lowe, Jane, makeup, yeah. no, no, not in that kind Dirty of way. Video. <gasps> you don't have lip crosses. I've never tried the mango one. Oh, well, it's so funny because before it launched, I kept giving it to people to try. I'd be like, try that. I'd be like, what flavour do you think that is? And they all got it. Oh my god. 
Okay, so Guys, then, I'm glowing. You are. But, but, but like, all glow. I feel, I feel like sweating. bright. No, and I feel like bright in the right places. Like you, you put the coverage like where I need it. It's perfect. Thank but you. You also don't need coverage. You just like I feel like you just need a touch of evening out. Even evening out for sure. So I'm just using the pressed powder. This is uh, the Tilbury one, just over the lid. This is my eyeshadow prep step. And if I do anything more long wearing than this, it's some sort of cream eyeshadow that has like a really crazy dry down. So we're gonna use this palette. This was in your makeup bag, and I was, was inspired by it. And I think the, because you got light eyes. Warm tones look amazing on light eyes, period. I feel like people ask me that question all the time, like, what colours do I use on my eyes? I've got brown eyes. I'm like, well, brown eyes first of all can wear any colour. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Completely. It's already a neutral. Yeah. So you're basically putting colours on top of a neutral, which always works. Yeah. Light eyes can also wear whatever you want. It's a preference and it's a, it's a choice. But I think that if you are trying to play in some sort of rule, get, rule book, I would go, like, warm tones are, like, literally our, our like, eureka. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of this middle colour. I'm going to start on the outer part, pressing on the colour, and then just sort of building it. This is Dose of Colours, it's called, did I already say this? It's just called, is it Sassy Sienna? Sassy Sienna. So whenever I apply eyeshadow, I always pack it on first and then blend it at the same time, but kind of just like, I'll pack it on and then I'll like, reposition my brush. And I'm kind of going to go a little bit higher, because you can really take it. It's like, I also think that when the skin is fresh and when the skin looks like skin, you can afford to go a little bit more dramatic in all of the details, whether it be eye or lip, because it's, you know, it's like part of the, it's like the skin keeps everything balanced. Mm. Okay. That is totally your thing as well, is like you do very glossy skin and it's always like like a lip or like an eyeliner or, I love your eyeliner trick. Which one? The one where you do the, because I feel like my eyes are quite hooded. Yeah. So you sort of do the line and then you sort of join it up. But actually, right. if you were to have your eyelid you know, relaxed. relaxed. Yeah, you it's kind of it's got the, the step. Shape, yeah. yeah. A lot of people DM me and are like, oh my god, it's changed my game. And so it's good. the best feeling ever to be able to feel like you're helping with yeah. somebody's routine in some kind of way. I feel like you're all going to follow Katie anyway. Aww. But if you don't, check out her Instagram. It's so educational. Go and look back through Katie's highlights because all of the things that you're talking about here, you've got highlights on it's brow, so and you've got highlights on skin prep and people, brushes. One of my mates, do you know Alyssa, uh, Alyssa from Refinery? I used to work at Refinery now, she's no. fashion. She's always like, I'm gonna make you a t shirt that says, Check my highlights. There's a highlight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh my god, that's so amazing. Then, so you just use that's that just one, one color. Shade. Yeah, but isn't that amazing the way like that one color can look like multiple just from building it in different areas? I thought that was more. I out. thought that was more than one. That's just that middle color. Wow. Um, but now I'm gonna take the darker so shade and just pop a little bit just on the outer corner and just do a little bit of a smoke in there. I feel like with these colours, I get it on my brush and go, uh-uh, and then I sort of just stick it all on, whereas that is just so beautifully blended. It didn't take you that long to do. No, five minutes. And we were gassing the whole time. You were like, what's one of your favourite products that you've been sent this year so far that you can't put down? Actually, this year I rediscovered the, uh, the Chanel, the bronzer that we yeah. used earlier. Like, it's the same as you. I've gone like fallen in and out of love with that. Yeah. Over the last couple yeah, of years, the text, and now the texture's so different, and it's like powdery almost. Do you know? Do you know? What I've recently fell back in love with, and I don't even know whether you can even buy it anymore. Um, is a Giorgio Armani liquid bronzer that's in a bottle with that like pipette thing, like a like a dropper. Oh, the dropper. Yeah. And I used it on a celebrity client a few weeks ago for something, and I basically like put it on completely bare naked skin, like I did for you, just on you right now. And it looked so good and it completely made me fall in love with it. And now it's one of my favorite products again. I love that though. I love like repurposing product. And that's why sometimes I don't like to even tag products in my captions on Instagram because I'm like, no, it doesn't matter about the product. No. It's about the inspiration that you're going to hopefully get from this to then yeah. make you play with what you've already got. Yeah, definitely. And, like, save what you've already got. Like it's such a... That's what you're always you're saying about so the brushes. Much stuff. What do you mean? When your people say, Katie, 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 oh, what, what, what brush are you using? I know, every day it's so funny. But I get, some people just don't know, and some people are like, are like, oh, I don't have any brushes that look like that. Wow, this looks amazing. So I'm using the brightest orange right in the middle of the eye. Um, but normally it's just like, just small brushes are your best friends, like for the whole yeah. face. Eyes, lips, cheeks, small, just stay small. Even when I like use a big brush now, I'm, I feel a bit bad. I'm it's like, a bit oh, strange, I don't, it's a bit alien. It's I don't think like, Katie would approve of this. <gasps> she just wouldn't. Do I sound American to you? Um, no, you don't sound American. Mark couldn't pitch it, like, Mark couldn't guess where you were from at all. Wait, so confused. from my accent, just on Instagram stories? No, I couldn't guess. Get lost. What did yeah, you say? Yeah, seriously. I was like, she's from the UK, and he was like, no, really? Like, <laughs> like, so you're going home next week, will your accent get really strong? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, I love you, all right. Fuck up. No, it won't be that northern. It'll be just more softer. I went to see the ABBA musical with my mum and sister last time I was in London for a period of time, <gasps> and um, I was literally just sitting and bopping to it the whole time, just loving it's it. It's not a bad song. It's not. 
What's, your, what's your favourite? Um, randomly, it's like probably Kiss the Teacher or Chickatita. Kiss the Teacher! Yeah, it's such a weird song. It's like a B side. <laughs> yeah, it is a B side. I love upbeat ABBA. Is that a song or you mean? Just, just like, mood. Rue Vu, Give Me, Give Me, Give oh, Me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay All Your Love On Me. Aww. I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush like this. This is actually a lip brush, but I'm just going to spritz it with a bit of Fix Plus. Love a bit of Fix Plus. Okay. And then you can see my little corner that's been wet already, so I'm just going to yeah. stick in that same realm. This is probably a discontinued shadow, but it's Mare from Chantecaille. I'm just going to use the back of my hand and create a little bit of a paste. We oh, love a paste. And then... I think I'm gonna go underneath. Look up. I'm gonna go under and in a, in a corner down there. A little bit, and it's just gonna be really subtle and just almost crystallized. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Lip contour. Did you get rid of your eye sculpt? No, but I, I need it in my well, life. Well, you might not, because this might be your replacement for that. But this is your brown eyeshadow from Pat McGrath, which is called Statuesque. Yeah. Yes. And I'm just using it on the very corner of the mouth, so on the top lip. And then bottom lip, just in this, in this, not in the corner, sorry, it's in the pointiest bit. Where the, we've all got two lip lines. One of them's clear and transparent, one of them's pink. Mm. Transparent one is the one I would go into, mm. even a little bit beyond. Make sure there's not too much lip balm or too much texture in the mouth. But if you just use a really soft brush and a little bit of pressure, pick up a tiny bit of taupey brown shadow. And the trick of this is to use a tiny bit. Mm. If you use too much, it looks like you've just got dirty ring around your mouth. <laughs> but it's not. Oh my word! But then you just take your regular lips. They look so. It, it's almost like darkened that lip, the invisible lip line. Yeah, so it's like giving you more. So I'm using your lipstick called Yash. Oh, Mac Yash. Ooh, yeah. I love Yash. I haven't used this for so long. It was one of my needs to go to for a while. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a little bit of a cheek, but I'm first going to use a bit of. What are your favourite cheek colours to use? Powdery or cream? So rarely use cheek. Um, really? What? Oh, because you just my blush. Um, I because my free blush. Because my free blush. Because my God given blush. Because my, my, give, my, my, um, my natural blush. Really? I like tart exposed. Mm. Oh no, of course, Glossier Dusk. Yeah, God, Dusk is great. Dusk is like. Yeah, because I bet that works real well for you because it probably pulls down the pink that you naturally have. Because yeah, it goes more like brownie on me yeah. rather than pink. Um, I own about three blushes. My amazing assistant Maha, who's here with us in London this week. Well, she lives in London. She's my London girl. She actually pulled this out of my kit and was like, you need to use this, it's really beautiful. It's NARS Oasis, and it is so pretty. That's really gorgeous. It's very, just like neutral. It's neutral, but it reads pink when you buff it in. It's like kind of bonkers. It's like a bonkers color. It's like <laughs> weird because it looks like it's beige, and it is, but then it reads really pink. Oh, really pink? Or yeah. Much pink when you swatch it. Yeah, but it's got a beige undertone, oh. so it doesn't read as too No, color. I don't feel too blushy. I want you to put your mascara on. Yes. Do you curl your lashes? Do you want your lash curler? Oh, it's in your little bag. Yeah, I don't want it. I curl them really gross. I like. always, no, I always like my, I always like my subjects to curl their own lashes and to put on their own mascara. Oh, wow. She goes for it. She's like, <sighs> it's disgusting. Why? Oh my God. Oh, sorry, no, do don't. Don't, don't do it again. Really? I want to see it. I want to see it. What is that? How are you doing that? Sorry, it's disgusting. Why are you going to yank your eyelashes out? Wait, this is amazing. Don't. I can't believe I'm doing this. If I'm Wait, okay. I need you to teach me how to do that. It's gross. You just do the twists oh. and then you get the ends. And then it's like a real curl curl, like a curl back on itself curl. Sorry, sorry, Katie. And then you sort of do that, and then I'm like going to the ends. I'm getting that like curl at the end. You're like literally pulling your eye. If your eyeball fell out, I wouldn't be sure. <laughs> no, it's horrible. What do you find the hardest makeup, like the hardest step to do on other people? Um, it's not so much that, it's more movement. Or they're just fidgety up. people. Like a lot of people talk, move a lot as they talk. So you'll be like, you know, you'll be sitting there still and you'll be doing someone's makeup and then they'll start talking and then their face will start kind of like that and their head will go off that way and then that way. <laughs> as soon as I'm on the phone, I'm good at just being like, keep your chin up, keep your chin up, keep your chin up. Yeah, like directing Put your chin up, please. Put your chin up. Yeah, it's just like, should you get t-shirts? So let's put your chin up. Put your chin up and uh, there's a keep, highlight on this. Keep your, chin, keep your chin up. Oh, wow, your gym scar is so good. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. Honestly, like, I was just going to put, like, a caption over this. It was just, like, terrified to put mascara on. I like the inner corners to look, like... Soft. Yeah, soft. I don't mind if they look a bit crazy. On You're so good at doing your own makeup, though. So and, like, not many people can do that you. and then know which way to go. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Oh, I feel like I want to just finger paint with this Tom Ford colour because it's really cool. Ooh. This is cool. That's cute. Eyeshadow Extreme number three. Okay. Is this a gloss or a, like a pigment? It's like a 
it's a powder, but it's like shiny. It's pretty. It's like glowy. Ooh. This is so pretty. Look up. This is way better than um, the, the peach, the blue that we were going for. This is kind of my final step to like the, the playfulness before okay. maybe I might do powder or whatever. But I don't really want to do powder because that's the benefit of not doing the skin prep. We don't really need to powder now. Oops. So I've got my Cafe Con Leche concealer and my little fluffy brush. And now I'm just going to use, this is suddenly a little tiny bit green on you, which would normally be weird, but because you have a lot of red undertones in your skin, it's green actually Green is great. good. Yeah, but it's, green. it's a hue. It's a hue. It's not enough of a color to worry about. So this is my favorite trick to do with, can you see? Oh my, oh my God, my eyeshadow. I love it. So like, this is just concealer now. So now I'm just perfecting and finessing. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just like kind of going around the nose, around the eyes with my concealer brush and just skimming it into that eyeshadow to create that shadow even softer than it was before. But there's hardly anything in here. Like if I did this on the back of my hand, you won't really see payoff. You'll just see, it's just literally polishing. It's like a polishing brush. So I'm just buffing. Can you even see it? Yeah, there? that's amazing. And then I'll go in there and- Just like a tidy up. Yeah. Just like a little it's like tidy a, up blend. It's like a retoucher. It's like a little yeah. makeup retoucher. Oh, she's face so then, me. So then I'm just gonna take a little Q-tip and just erase any makeup that got on a little cute mole. <laughs> Beauty mark. Mm. Ashley, Ashley likes me to put her mole back in. Does she? Yeah. Do you do that as well? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Mine are already put pretty dark, so therefore, if mine get makeup over them, they're pretty ashy looking, so I have to erase the makeup that's in them. This is Kapari Starry Eye Balm, but we're going to use it as a highlighter because it's fine. To, it's, like a, it's like basically gloss. It's like a clear gloss, yeah. so you get to use this everywhere. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a little bit here. Where do you highlight when you highlight? I just feel like... Ooh, mm, yeah. Need this. Da, 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 like a little bit this of cheeks. I kind of put it everywhere. It's a bit like bronzer. I sort of go a bit crazy with it. Yeah. Before you know it, it's all over my face. You have to press so delicately soft when you apply layers. I mean, I know I'm the anti-baker in the makeup world, but I think <laughs> of putting makeup on like you're icing a cake. Every single layer that you put on has to go on some lighter than the thing before, because if you don't, Think of like if you were icing a cake. Mm -hmm. you would, if you press firm, you would pull the sponge away from the cake. Yeah, you get all that you'll crumbs. Pull, mm -hmm. Yep, you'll get crummy base if you press too hard. So I'm going to use a touch of powder, only because I use this highlighter and I want to kind of control the realms of the face. So mm -hmm. tiniest little brush. This is T Tilbury's powder. I'm literally just going to skim it around the eye. I'm just going to protect. I'm protecting the eye and the nose from any of the oils or textures that I've put around the perimeter like you shouldn't be able to see it you should just be able to see a little bit more of a demi matte yes oh you can you yeah you can just see the shine isn't catching as much there but it's not right but you could even go a little bit further over there yeah turn your head a bit more to that light and then there's all your glow oh yeah, yeah you're not getting rid of that glow like at all <laughs> <laughs> just had a weird moment i was like okay my makeup done but okay to show you so cute <laughs> serious this, this has been so, so it has yeah, it's this is like my dream I know same this is like just girl Aww. chats so chill you're so fun to do makeup on oh thanks and again like if the skin moves too much you're putting too much pressure if the skin like basically goes like that that's like, bad like it, it, your skin's too tall I can't even move it um <laughs> I also sometimes like to put powder over highlighter because it gives it like a finish I think I'm happy oh god she looks crazy. Was that, was that the magnified part? What's my makeup doing today? I love it. That pink. The, the pink was the trick. That's the what pink, I'm saying about the yeah. playfulness. I didn't have any idea about putting that pink. That's why. But it was here, so it was just that playfulness happened. It was that moment, like, I could tell, like, you were, you were into it, and yep. then you did that pink, and you were like, it's, it's always, love it. I love a pink and orange together on the eye. That is a mate. Oh, God, I'm going to need to get that pink. So good on, know, on like, nice. a pale eye as mm -hmm. well. Oh my word. I like pale eye. This has been so dreamy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. This has been amazing. Everything will be linked down below for you. Every single thing that we've used. Um, big love to Glossier for like making this happen. Yeah, much appreciated. Thanks for bringing us together properly in real life. I was literally like in the office in New York when I had a quick meeting about to come in to do this trip. I was like, we have to get Anna. We have to do Anna. I want to meet Anna. I want to do Anna's makeup. And the only oh brand God. that I would want to do if there was any kind of like, you know, a meet introduction. A brand yeah, yeah, yeah. meet would be them because they're just so cool and chill. And Honestly, the dream. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, she's. There was yeah. a fight. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Definitely check out Katie on Instagram. She's fab. And watch the highlights, guys. What's watch the highlights? Oh, no, my highlights. Watch your highlights. Are they like, going to make some like mad bloopers real? Of no. Us, like, make it, I mean, she might still do it. No, maybe I'll do a blooper. I don't think there was enough. I think no. We had such just a singing, you know, the usual. Yeah, but, um, but definitely check out her Instagram. Check out the highlights because everything that you need to know about makeup ever is there. So thank you. I'll see you with a brand new video sometime soon. Bye. Bye, guys.